If you want to learn how to make this delicious creamy Cajun pasta, keep on watching. Welcome back to another cooking video. Today we will be making a creamy spicy Cajun pasta. And these are our ingredients. We have our pasta, garlic powder, mozzarella cheese, two pieces of chicken breast, crushed pepper, smoked paprika, our oil, an onion, red bell pepper, salt, black pepper, our parsley, smoked sausage, two Maggie cubes, and a heavy whipping cream. Next, we're gonna cut up our vegetables. First, we're gonna start with our bell peppers. It is up to you how you cut it, since we're gonna saute these in our pot. After cutting up our bell pepper, we're also going to cut up our onion um, and also our parsley. We're going to chop our parsley and we're going to set those aside. Next, we're gonna cut up our sausage. I will be using the whole sausage for this meal. And also, I'm cutting our sausage in a slanted way. I think it's easier to fry with um, our vegetables that we're gonna do later on as well. Now we're gonna cut our chicken breasts. These are super thin two pieces of chicken breast. I'm gonna do the same thing, super thin cut with the chicken so they cook really easy. Next, we're gonna saute our onions. I'm adding oil to our pot. We're gonna add our onions and also we're gonna add our bell peppers and we're gonna mix and saute these two we're gonna let our bell peppers and our onion saute for three to five minutes and we're gonna let this brown up before we add our paprika our crushed pepper and our sausage We're also gonna add our sausage. Um, I'm not putting season in this uh, mix because the sausage has season on it. It has salt on it, but it's up to you to add that if you like. But I'm gonna add season onto our chicken and then our sauce. After our sausage has been cooking for about seven to 10 minutes, we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna also do the same with our chicken next we will be cooking our chicken we will add our chicken breast to our pot we will be adding paprika garlic powder crushed pepper black pepper and also have a cube of maggie um, maggie can be found at your local african asian market our penne pasta. I'm adding water. I'm also going to add some oil to it so it doesn't stick in the pot. 
It's always good to add oil to your water when you make your pasta so it doesn't stick. And I'm gonna do a pinch of salt or two pinches in our water. And I'm gonna add our pasta. After cooking your pasta for 15 to 20 minutes, you wanna go ahead and check your pasta and see if your pasta is where you need it to be to move to the next step. As for now, my pasta is cooked perfectly the way I need it to be, and I'm gonna move on to the next step. Next, we're gonna add our heavy whippy cream to our pot. We're also gonna use um, garlic powder, crushed pepper, black pepper, and also add half a cube of Maggie to our sauce and then we're gonna move on to our next step. Now we're gonna add our sausage and also our saute to our sauce. So you wanna make sure you get all this juice into your mix of your sauce. And we're also gonna add our chicken as well and we're gonna mix look at this and we're gonna let the chicken and the sausage cook in the sauce for three five minutes and we're gonna add our pasta I'm going to go ahead and add some paprika to our sauce again because we added paprika but it was with our sausage. We're going to mix. Look at this. I'm also going to add a little bit of the parsley for the smell and we're going to add the rest at the end. We want this parsley to cook really nicely with the sauce oh my gosh this smells really really good you can add more spicy pepper if you choose but for now I think the pepper that I added to the sauce is perfectly fine for our pasta Now that our sauce has thickened, we're going to add our pasta to it. Look at this. After adding our pasta, we're going to mix. Now we're going to add our mozzarella cheese to our pasta and we're going to mix that all in to get that cheesy texture. Look at this, look how cheesy this is. Here's the final look of our creamy Cajun pasta. I hope you try this recipe at home. And if you do, please let us know in the comments how it went for you. Please subscribe to our channel and follow us on all of our social media platforms. Thanks for watching.